how did you get chosen to be in an air act video? Not only have I been reading your guys' comments, but I've been responding as well. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for me. Turn on your post notifications. Hello, you guys. I'm Jessica Shea. You already knew that. Welcome back to my channel. I got the flamingos on the back here. So beautiful and so magical. We're reading your comments. Yes, if you left a comment recently somewhere on my channel or on any of these videos, we're gonna talk about some stuff because you guys need to get it right. This is just so beautiful behind me, ain't it? Jessica seemed so happy to get the job. Glad it was someone who really wanted it. I'm really glad that it was somebody who really wanted it too because I would have hated for someone to have won that and not really care. I like her. She seems nice and fun. Dance helped, but it was mostly her personality. I have yet to have been complimented so much on my personality. I'm so happy because I've worked very hard on this personality. <laughs> yes, she's got lots of personality. Oh, I agree. Thank you. Okay, so this one right here. No, we're not gonna talk about it. But I do wanna say one thing. There's two sides to every story. I know what the audience probably sees, but you just never know with YouTube what's real and what's not real. It's crazy because even in a moment that looks so real and so genuine, it could be so fake. And you just don't know, you never know. And the thing is, is everyone has a different perspective. Your view or my view could be completely different. We could all have different views, right? In the video, which was the camera's perspective and the audience's perspective looked so different. Isn't always the case. It's all perspective. This one, I actually shouted out on one of my most recent videos and it says Jessica is like a gal that you can never pass. Hey, thank you so much. Are we gonna talk about how it's been out for two minutes and it's already got 2.8 thousand likes? People love it. I kind of think Jessica got lucky on the match fog. Her matches didn't work and was able to find out quickly. I love how Jessica was approved because of her dance. Okay, let's throw it back, okay? Let's throw it back, okay? It wasn't because of the dance, but in editing, that's kind of what they highlighted because it was a big moment of the interview. I answered about five questions, I wanna say. Three or four of them obviously didn't make the cut. The easiest thing that I can do without moving around too much, give off a sexy vibe. At least PG-13, it could be a younger audience. I did a little butt twirl and then I just dropped it as hot. Anyway, honestly, I wasn't approved just because of my dance. I gotta go through the process. I can't just be given a win. Okay, so this one right here, I'm pointing him out to get eliminated. But then I turned around and was like, you need to stay. We came here to fight, don't walk around. Even if you're surprised, you didn't leave then. So I don't know if you know how this went. He was ready to leave. All right, I'm out. He was gonna give up. That's why I voted him out. He wanted to leave. I feel if he wanted to leave, two other people who wanna stay, I'm gonna vote out the one who wants to leave. That's why I voted for Teddy. Went up to Teddy after the elimination now that you're still in the competition i want you to know that i voted for you out because you wanted to leave but you cannot give up you need to fight for it if you're here you're here for it we didn't come this far to give up just keep going with the process like you could be the winner he wanted to give them a chance because it meant more to them than it did for him that's amazing because that's kind of what austin did if you guys are reading the comments clearly unless you really have to go home and there's so much more serious things going on you're here already what else do you have to lose you're already halfway through yo just Jessica's nuts. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And the crazy part about it is, is that sometimes when I look back at myself and I'm like, in the moment I was thinking a certain way and I thought it was valid. And then I look back and I'm like, why was I thinking that? Why did I do that? I have to agree with you. I am kind of nuts. Jessica really deserved this job. She's beautiful, loyal, funny, caring, and smart. Oh my God. Austin is the winner. $10,000. That's a win. Jessica built different solid assistant vibe. Hell yes. Hell yes. I can't believe Jess does OnlyFans. All right, you guys, you guys. Let's throw it back for a second. I do not do I don't do and no, I'm not sorry for it. If you were in my place in life, I particularly do not want to do OnlyFans. I have no choice if I want to keep a roof over my head, food in my stomach. YouTube isn't really bringing the rent. So hey, on that note, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for me. Please help me. Yes, okay. So that way I don't have to do OnlyFans anymore. This comment. I have no comments to say. I'm just gonna say thank you. Just all authentic over here. <laughs> 
I love this one. Got, okay, this question. This is something that I wanted to answer. I don't know if I've answered it yet. And I meant to answer it in my last video, which is the question and answers part two. If you guys haven't watched it, go watch it. How did you get chosen to be in an Arak video? And I don't know if I told you guys this, but I ended up getting chosen to be in the Arak video because for a while I've been a fan. Uh, for the last couple years, I've been subscribed. Just been watching the videos, really entertained by them, was very different. Eventually as a fan and watching all the videos, he was like, sign up for his community text log. I was receiving text updates, Pizza 5, VidCon, come to the VidCon parking lot. I'm like, I don't even have a VidCon ticket. Well, I wish I could be there. Could have been a part of videos. There had been moments where I could have applied, but like, I'm not a bodyguard. It never happened. Eventually, I got this text saying, do you want to be in a video tomorrow? And I'm like, tomorrow, I'm free. Hell yeah, I'm there. I think I just wanted to be a part of it. Not even knowing that I was going to win. I think when you meet people in person from like the internet, you really get to feel their vibes in person. Sometimes, in this case, I had a different idea about Eric in person than I did online. All I want to do is be part of the videos. Eric's personality is so great. His team is amazing. All the editors are so nice. There's so many people who want to be in the position to be able to be a part of more of their stuff. Maybe you could be part of his video soon. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you later. Bye.